Hello everyone, Dalton's Garage coming at you today with a quick how-to tip, um, how to free up brake cables and throttle cable, choke cable on four-wheelers and three-wheelers and dirt bikes and all that good stuff. Just about anything has a cable like this and it's frozen up, been sitting and, and it doesn't move anymore. So. We're going to show you how to do that today. Uh, me and my dad was just sitting around. We had this actual cable was frozen on us, and we come up with this idea, I guess you could call it. Um, I, I mean, I don't think anyone's ever done it before, so we're going to go ahead and get at it and show you. What you're going to need is a water bottle with a lid. Okay. And you're going to need some motor oil. doesn't really matter what kind, just some kind of lubricant, a drill bit, and optional, a drill. So what you want to do first is you want to put the bit in the drill, take off the water bottle cap, and the size of this drill bit is actually a little bit smaller than the brake cable line itself. So just note that that's what you're going to want to do yourself if you want to do this. So we're just going to put a little hole right in the middle. And as you can see, that's just a tad bit smaller than the actual cable. And we'll be inserting the cable probably up to here through this. And we want that to be sealed off. All right, now you can see that's tightly inserted in there and it's not going to leak around there. Now what you want to do is go ahead and get some oil and pour into the bottle like so. Careful not to spill any. Okay, now, now that you got your cable inserted through the lid and it's tight and not going to leak and you can't move it and it's not loose what you want to do is connect it to the bottle and this is crazy it's just like an IV and flip it over and then what you're going to do is put another hole in the top and that's for airflow so now what you want to do is hang this up and leave this end of the cable dangling down and maybe put you a bucket or something under it because it might be dripping. And it, it took me three days to unfreeze this cable using this method. I'm sure some cables will take less time and some may even require more, but the method does work and it's original. I've never seen no one do it, I believe. I believe uh, come up with something original here so try it out leave a comment a like if you uh, enjoyed it and it was helpful and subscribe for more helpful tips and tricks in the future videos so just hang that up and by morning it'll be dripping like a IV and it'll be operating smooth as this one does so thanks for watching dalton's garage signing out until next time thanks for watching